Hello everybody. Welcome to Minnesota in the winter for uh, the first of Demand Chain's winter series where I am going to uh, take you through a little exploration of Agent Force and some uh, AI agents and uh, talk to you about how they, how they get made and how you can take advantage of them. So I'm going to get inside where it's a little uh, warmer and I uh, thank you for, for taking the time to watch this and hopefully it helps you out. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through Agent Force agents, specifically the um, account summary and uh, just general summary agents that are available. This is a great place to start as you're uh, considering how to leverage Salesforce and get Einstein and, and an agent here to, to help you while you're, uh, while you're working. Um, so first thing I, I wanna do is uh, just give you an overview of what we're talking about. Um, ideally, we are uh, looking for some kind of help on the side of our screen. And I'm gonna get started here and do just a couple things. Um, let's go over here and click on our little Einstein guy that will open up the side panel and your agent appears. Um, I'm doing this at the home page, so I don't have any records in scope yet. Uh, I'm just going to ask it questions and I could say, um, you know, what are my top opportunities? Okay. And now it's going to go to work. And, uh, from, from this page, I could ask it anything about anything. And I'm going to go in a little bit and show you how we set this up and what we're grounding. Um, the agent on. Out of the box, uh, there's a, a, a long list of things that it's ready to adjust uh, and, and show you, uh, but you can change those and work with them. So notice I asked it, what are my top opportunities? It told, told me, and uh, I'm going to do one more thing here. Uh, tell me more about the Hermadine app. Okay, so now I'm asking it question about what I see. Again, still nothing happening on the left side of the screen. It's all action over here. Uh, let's let this go through and show me one more thing, and then I will go and, and, and uh, talk a little bit more here. So here's a long summary um, and uh, telling me about the opportunity, including some products, etc. I could go and now interact with it, just like I would with any uh, uh, GPT agent, and ask it questions and get information. Now, let me just open a different tab here, and uh, I've gone through and had a discussion with um, Einstein and, and uh, done a bunch of things. So we don't have to type it in, you can just watch. So um, here uh, I asked, uh, what are my top opportunities for today? And it said, there are none for today. So I changed that and said, get me my top opportunities. And now I got a list. Notice this is actionable. So when I go ahead and click on this, it brings it open to the side, which is nice. Uh, still keeps this in scope. Um, and I can go back and, and use my browser. So now I have a nice list there. I could hit view more and it would bring up more. Tell me more about the Permadyne opportunity. I did that before, there's my answer. Can you schedule a task? This was interesting. Um, maybe I wanna remind myself to make a phone call. So I did, and it says, hey, I can't directly schedule a task. I'm gonna show you why when we go into setup, uh, but it tells me how I can do it. Okay, that's great. Um, share the highlights. So now I'll put a highlight uh, for me that I could hit copy and quickly go maybe paste this in an email, paste this in a, in a PowerPoint that I'm doing for leadership or something. That's sort of nice. Are any of my cases overdue? Um, so here's a list of my cases. Now I can go in and interact with those. Uh, again, hitting view of more. Um, there are no overdue cases. Now I left this in here to show you something interesting. And this is just to show you that you don't just turn on Agent Force and it works. You have to go in and do some fine tuning and setting up. I asked for overdue cases. And it said, you have none. Uh, I looked for cases that are not closed and have a close date before today. That logic doesn't work, right? It, that, that's not how you would determine something is, is open. Could you write an email to Lauren Boyle? Lauren Boyle is not a contact, but is associated with a case. So then I said, oops, I mean Lauren Bailey. There are two records. So I had to pick this one. I grabbed it. And now I created that email for me and I could copy the draft, send an email. And then lastly, I just want to show you that it, it also recommends things which you will, will program. Um, so, so that's what we do at a, uh, uh, just a general area. It's just interacting with me. I can pin it here. I can unpin it. Um, I, can, I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. Uh, and then I can, I can close it or clear it so that we, we start all, all over. Um, now, if I go to a specific record, same thing applies, but now the uh, the agent is already grounded on this record that I'm looking at, in this case, um, Omega Inc. And it's giving me predetermined prompts that you would 
build, or I can go ahead and ask questions. Uh, so now I did the same thing here just to speed along this, this demo. I uh, first said, what can you help me with? And it told me I can retrieve records. I can give you activity information, answer questions about this, draft an email or aggregate data. So I started asking it questions and it started giving me answers um, about everything inside of this, this account. So you can see how uh, if you had a, a complex account with long history, this could help. Uh, here I'm generating an email and, and I could copy it or I can hit send. When I hit send, it opens up Salesforce and, and I uh, email or it would open up my Outlook and put it in there if that was my, my, uh, my uh, email of choice. Notice that it did give me an error um, and I went through and did it again and it then kicked it out and it revised my email. I interacted there. So this is just my little workspace interacting with my helper. Now, let's go in uh, behind the scenes, and uh, I want to show you how this is, uh, this is set up here. So uh, I'm going to click on Agents inside of Setup. When you go in uh, and have uh, Generative AI turned on and you're paying for that with Salesforce, um, you will get this agent area. And there's a, a few here that I have. I'll do another video on the case agent that you can watch. But I'm choosing Einstein Copilot. This comes with uh, uh, Agent Force out of the box for you. And what uh, the agent is, it's made up of actions um, uh, and things that it's, you program it to do. So in this case, all of these things could happen when this agent is uh, invoked. Okay. So what I'm going to do is click open in builder so I can show you this a little bit more. Uh, and this is how you go in and test and work with your agent. Again, I'll do another video on this um, uh, in a little bit, but uh, let's get started here. So I have a topic. Um, uh, in this case, I have a general CRM topic and a single record summary. Let's go into general CRM. And you can see that we uh, have an area here where we start uh, giving it a scope and start giving it instructions. This is very important. Uh, the instructions are what you are uh, limiting or controlling this agent to do. And these you can just add to and add to and add to. It creates the boundaries. It creates the framework that this agent is gonna work within. Um, uh, tells it what it's gonna grab, what flows, what code it's gonna interact with. This is what puts all the boundaries in place so that this doesn't go wild and it stays focused. Now, if I go up here to uh, um, the actions that are involved, so if I have a topic there, what are the actions that we wanna do? Um, when you are engaged in the CR, general CRM, uh, I can identify an object, I can get activities, I can query records, I can get a summary, get the details. This is what all my questions were. So when I asked it to create an activity and it told me it couldn't, this is why. There is no create activity here and it, it kicks you out of the process, okay? Now, uh, the last thing I wanna show you, I wanna take you over to Salesforce Help just to show you what um, is available to you. And I encourage you to take a look at this. Go into Salesforce Help and search for uh, agents, um, uh, agent force, agents and topics, okay? And on the left here, you will see the standard agent topic reference. Account management, case management, close deals, content creation, escalation, deliver. So all of these things Salesforce is providing out of the box to get us started, okay? I'll choose an easy one here, single record summary. Let's dive into that one. You'll see what it is, and then it shows you these agent actions. The actions is the next part that's important. Identify objects by name, identify a record by name, query the records, query and aggregate the records, and summarize the record. So when you choose that you want to do a single record summary, these are the things that it's programmed to do, and these are examples of how it would be invoked when someone types, okay? So if we have, if I go back here, and show you that we have all of these topics to get you started, right? Then let's go in and look at all of the actions. Click here, you'll see there's just a lot of them. Case comments, records to a cadence. Um, there, there's just a long, long list. And they tell you exactly what's happening underneath. Um, here's that log or call. We might have wanted to have this one in place so that I could go in and create uh, that task that I was doing before. In this case, it's logging a history, but you get what I mean. So um, I hope that that, um, that little walkthrough there gives you uh, uh, an orientation 
of, of the, the main um, solid agent to get starting with, which is summarizing uh, or interacting with your overall Salesforce org. And it gives you a glimpse into the agent building and the topics and actions that are available when you turn on agent force. Uh, I'll be doing subsequent videos on some specific things in here and more detailed examples. Uh, I hope that you come back for those um, and uh, we continue on this AI and agent force journey together. Thank you so much.